St. John's hasn't experienced this devastation in fire wise since 1892. It's not something I've seen before. It's, it's a firestorm. You, you, you can actually hear it. Of course, the CLD building is gone. The Dominion store is on fire. The government building on the east side is on fire. And a row of houses is after the government building is on fire. There was flankers as we walked from Central Station up Harvey Road here. There were flankers, like, really as big as dinner plates all around you. And it was like, I've never seen anything like this. It was just... It was just all consuming when you looked at it. Firefighters got the call around 10 p.m. Report to Central Station, we need you now. They had no idea what they were walking into. The fire started at the Church Lads Brigade before jumping the road and igniting the Big R, a family-run restaurant. We had customers in the store and the, the, the roof was a fire and the fireman said you gotta go the roof is a fire so they actually took my aunt out the back door and then when she realized all these flames are coming down the road she eyed the tanks and she kind of got really nervous and ran back in the store and she had to be covered up with wet blankets to get back to the car so that's how you know fast it just went by morning there was nothing left a downtown neighborhood full of character Gone. The greatest memory for me is the next morning as the sun came out, and it did, was the stark reality of what had happened overnight and the amount of damage. It was just, it was just phenomenal. It looked like a war zone. All that was left standing in the morning was a Chinese food restaurant just down the block here on the opposite side of the road. Over here, a concrete vault was left standing from a government services building. That, of course, is now a Tim Hortons. The CLB Armory, meanwhile, where the fire started, was reduced to these concrete pillars. Before the ashes were cold, uh, there was a decision made 9 o'clock on the 22nd of December uh, of that year to rebuild the CLB Armory. The public rallied with donations, but there were some things money just couldn't replace like the extensive archives assembled by then 78-year-old William Tilly. The night of the fire, he couldn't bring himself to come down and watch his beloved armory being uh, burnt to the ground. And he would tell the story, if he were here today, that I got up the next morning, I went down and I bought the, a copy of the Evening Telegram, and I started the rebuilding of the CLV archives. The Forward family were starting over too. A few days after the fire, Karen found out she was pregnant with twins. With five kids to feed, there was no choice but to rebuild and rebuild fast. Three months later, they were serving fish and chips in a brand new building. 25 years later, Deputy Chief Don Byrne has never forgotten the intensity of that fire. Because a lot of people say it can't happen. It can happen and it can happen again. Ryan Cook, CBC News, St. John's.